I would like to thank Jamal Ross for sending me this story, and it is coming out of Daytona. Oh, I'm not. I'm sorry, not Daytona, Deltona. I never heard of that. Florida, where you have this former pastor by the name of Brian Kenyon Jr., who has been removed from his position as pastor of this church because he decided to use his phone for his own voyeuristic pleasures. This man took his phone and put it underneath this woman's dress, uh, one of the people who go to the church, while she was putting her child in the car seat in her car. Let me go ahead and read this article. It said a pastor in Florida is under arrest and out of a job after allegedly recording images under the dress of a parishioner as she bent over to put her child in a car seat. 31-year-old Brian Kenyon Jr., formerly with the Florida Church of Christ, was arrested Thursday afternoon on a charge of video voyeurism. Volusia County Sheriff Spokesman Andrew Gant tells the Daytona Beach News Journal that the 41-year-old woman reported the incident on April 24th, telling investigators that it happened two weeks earlier when she attended a service at the Church of Christ of Deltona. An arrest report says that she felt skin against her leg and turned to see Kenyon holding his cell phone. Gant said Kenyon has been quote-unquote removed from the church. Jail records do not list a lawyer. Now, this happened all the way back in April, and they're just now releasing this. Are they just, and they're just now putting this man under arrest. That just shows you how much they drag out with these investigations, or they were trying to keep it as quiet as possible. So that means this man was able to continue doing what he was doing up until um, Thursday. This Thursday that just passed. I would like to know, are those Me Too times up? Heffa's going to say anything about this? Probably not because he's not a big enough profile type person for them to go after, nor is he black. That's really all I can pretty much get on this, on this story. All we can say is the guy's a goddamn perv. You know, it was, you know, back in the day, they used to have those mirrors where they would put, like, you had old men would have mirrors on the bottom of their canes. So when their cane was held in a certain way, if a woman had on a dress, he would be able to look up under her dress. They actually used to, I remember seeing those being sold in that store, Spencer's, back in the day. But I highly doubt that they sell those anymore. And that was back in the early 2000s. So it was amazing of the stuff that they would do in order for them to fulfill their sick pleasures. But, <clears throat> excuse me, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you can. Donate to the channel via PayPal or become a patron or Patreon. I'll talk to you in the next one.